This is Hupcast, the short, sharp podcast from the Hands Up Project. Hello and welcome to the Hands Up Project podcast. The Hands Up Project is a charity trust which connects young people and English teachers in Palestine with an international network of volunteers who support education through online interaction, drama and storytelling activities. We're creating this podcast in the hope of amplifying the voices of our friends in Gaza, English teachers and students whose faces we would normally see on Zoom every day of the week in storytelling and drama sessions. The messages we are receiving from them daily are asking us to do one thing. Tell the world their stories before it's too late. I chat with this teacher most nights. Today was her daughter's 10th birthday. She said, I'll tell her you send her hugs and kisses, but I prefer you not to sing to her because she'll just play the recording all day. Parents all over the world, we are the same and so are our children. Here's tonight's message. Hello, Sarah. During the day today, it was calm in my area to some extent, but last night I swear my eyelids didn't close. It was raining missiles, cats and dogs as we say. They say they destroyed the infrastructure. Besides that, I lost 20 of my relatives in two different areas, Jabalia and Deir al-Balakh, during last night and yesterday. Today is Leanne's birthday. She completed the first decade. Do you know how many wars she does survive? Actually, I don't know. But she was born in 2013. Each war after this date. This war is various from others. The weapons, the sound, bloodshed, even our side and the prisoners. The number of UNRWA employees who passed away is 43 according to last statistics, besides the retired teachers who left schools a year ago. I know three in Jabalia and Beit Hanun. The number of teachers in the government schools is more about 2,000 children, including school students. 42% of houses aren't suitable for inhabitants. Around a million are displaced. Sometimes one is speechless. We are out of words, tears, energy, but not patience. Whatever it's long, there must be a day of freedom. Now the party starts. The planes start, but no explosions yet. Hadil, my sister-in-law, is so sad as her sister was murdered. Her birthday was yesterday. She was crying all the day. Maybe the number of victims is big, but each one has a story. <laughs> 